In this problem, we're going to take a look at the um, NPER financial function in Excel. NPER is number of periods. And we're going to use this to determine how long it's going to take us to reach an investment goal. Okay. Uh, so here's the problem. We're, um, we're starting off with $100,000. That's the present value. And we're going to save $500 every month at the end of the month. And... Um, that's uh, 12 periods per year. Uh, we're assuming an interest rate, an annual rate of 10%. Our goal is to have a million. How long is it going to take? Okay. Our starting balance uh, is the present value, 100,000. Uh, we're going to save 500 a month, and we're going to do that 12 times a year. And years is what we're trying to find out here, so that's going to be left blank. Uh, the annual interest rate is 10%. Uh, the ending balance, that's our goal, is one million. And um, we're also trying to calculate the number of periods here, so let's uh, let's cross that one out too using our little format painter. And uh, then the rate per period is going to be the annual rate divided by 12, and uh, we're doing this at the end of every month, so put a zero here. Okay. And now let's go over here and apply the NPER function. It's on the formulas tab in the financial group. And we need to scroll down to the ends. And there we are. And the rate, remember, is the rate per period. Uh, payment is always negative, so put a minus sign in front of that. Uh, the present value is the sum of a bunch of payments in a savings problem. So the present value in a savings problem is always going to be negative as well. Uh, the future value is our goal here, a million, and the type is zero, and click on OK. Now, that is, this is the NPER function, which stands for number of periods, and uh, we have 12 periods per year, so that's the number of months, it's not the number of years. That's kind of a hard number for most people to get a handle on, so what we're going to do is we're going to take that number and we're going to divide it by, uh, not 12, but B4. And that way, if uh, the periods per year ever changes, uh, this will automatically change as well. So it looks like it's going to take us 19 years uh, to pay off that loan. And uh, we've just solved every single savings problem here. Uh, all you have to do uh, is to apply this to a different problem. It's just go in here and change the numbers, and you will automatically get the correct calculations updated over here.